New tonight in our Meadows to Metropolis series, we've talked about the impact population growth will have on us here in Nevada. Everything from crime to housing, water, education and more. But despite the issues, people continue to move here. And so tonight, anchor Kalina Estrinos now shows you the reasons why people are excited to call Las Vegas home and also what we have to do to maintain ourselves in the future. Sunset Park is the perfect spot for four year old Leon and two year old Leland to run around and be kids. The weather is beautiful here. Tommy and Krista Spigner moved their family from Portland, Oregon to Southern Nevada about a year ago. 2020 hit and so did a pandemic and with that we were stuck inside of a two bedroom apartment downtown, lack of access to playgrounds and parks. The need for more space, outdoor recreation, affordability and our state's diversity are the main reasons why they chose Las Vegas. It allows our children to have a more more diverse uh, opinion of people and things and places. Research from Applied Analysis analysis shows Nevada ranks third in terms of overall racial diversity behind Hawaii and California and people moving here hasn't slowed down. Just between 2010 and uh as of today, we've we've gained about 350,000 people. Andrew Woods is the director of the Center for Business and Economic Research at UNLV. He says a number of factors help determine population forecasts, including birth rate minus death rates. But the one making the biggest difference is people moving here. That number has been very strong for Southern Nevada for decades. Andrew says the driving force is affordability, something many people say helps with their quality of life. And particularly we saw during the pandemic that Southern California and parts of other parts of the country got more expensive to determine, you know, looking at different costs. While as here in Southern Nevada, we still had a lot of ground to make up from the last recession, so things were much more affordable for folks. And so we saw an increase, not a decrease in number of individuals moving here and residing here as a result. This research helps leaders determine the best areas to put money and resources toward to plan for the future. How do we think of 5, 10, 15 years, the number of personnel that we need to continue to have the services that we have today? So how we develop and what we do with housing, education, jobs, water and more will all have an impact on how we sustain ourselves in the future, giving us the opportunity to become the face of the nation and serve as a model for the rest of the country. It just kind of blows my mind how big this place has got. Richard Bryan served Nevada as governor and U.S. Senator, seeing the growth firsthand. I just can't imagine it. Major League franchise hockey in the desert, you know, get a grip. He says Las Vegas has always been a city full of opportunity, but the challenge is how to handle it all. What are we going to do about this water issue? We can't just forget about it. That's a serious issue. Now, I don't think the town, you know, 10 years is going to dry up and blow away. I think there's some solutions that we can fashion, but that's a real challenge. But Brian remains optimistic. Well, I think the future is incredibly bright for us if we manage our resources and the challenges that we face. As long as we tackle those issues head on, families like the Spigners can look forward to more days outdoors, enjoying everything Southern Nevada has to offer. Kalina Estrinos, 13 Action News. And our newsroom wide project, Meadows to Metropolis, is not over. We're putting together a streaming special featuring a lot of the work that we've done so far. It will be running periodically throughout the holiday weekend, debuting tomorrow night at 8 p.m. You can find it where you stream 13 Action News. Check it out.